Hello again. So here's me standing at the prayer desk. Now, why am I standing at the prayer desk? Well, it's because that this is the location for the next sacrament that I want to talk about. It's a sacrament we have nearly every time we have a service uh, in the Church of Ireland, and that's the sacrament of reconciliation. So, at the start, or towards the start of every service, we admit that we're all sinners. We admit to ourselves and to God that we have sinned, and then the priest or the bishop will pronounce the absolution. So what does this mean and why do we do it? I personally believe that Jesus has forgiven us all our sins through his death and resurrection anyway. So what am I doing asking you to admit to your sins? And what am I doing standing up pronouncing the absolution? Well, for me, what's happening is you're admitting that you need to access that forgiveness and I'm letting you know that you have it. One analogy I've used in the past is it's, it's a bit like if you've had back surgery. You may have had a limp before you had back surgery, but after you have the surgery, there's no need to limp anymore because everything's being fixed. And you'll be told, do your exercises and don't limp. Because if you carry on limping, even after your back has been fixed, you may find that because you pull more muscles or discs or whatever, that the problem ends up coming back because you weren't walking properly. So that's what we're doing in the Sacrament of Reconciliation. We're admitting that we need forgiveness and we're reminding ourselves that we have it and we're dropping our baggage so that we don't walk with a limp in future. I was going to finish and I missed something. Some churches have this idea of confession where you go to a priest, tell them your sins privately and are given absolution privately. And then some churches will give you a penance, give you some prayers to say. Now, to explain where that originally came from, it originally came from the Irish church and it was the idea that you had an anamkara, a soul friend, that you would tell your problems to. And that soul friend would pronounce the absolution if they were a priest and then would seek your well-being by giving you a good exercise to do that would increase your spiritual fitness so that the same problem wouldn't happen again. The analogy I've just given, it would be a bit like the physio exercises that you might get if you've had an operation. Now, this grew very much into an idea when you see sin more in terms of a criminal transaction, that you have to do the penance to get the forgiveness. Well, that's not the way I would look at it, but it's the way that some people do. But within the Church of Ireland, we generally don't do that. But all can, some do, and nobody has to. If you have a problem that you really want to discuss with your priest, it can be helpful. And maybe the priest will give you some advice that will help you through the future. As I said, some do, all can, nobody has to. And the forgiveness of God is always there for us. And that's why we are reassured of it every time we have a Sunday service. <laughs>